Today I'm going to tell you which cities in the United States might be too far gone to make a comeback ever. We all have our hopes for where we live or where we're from. Every city, state and town has its ups and its downs. Sometimes those downs seem to go on for so long that we start to wonder if those ups are ever going to happen. Then we start to wonder if it's even worth fixing sort of like a 1974 Pinto with a door that won't open and a bumper sticker that reads gas grass or arse. Nobody rides for free today. We look at 10 cities that have sucked for so long that they're probably going to suck forever. Get it? Got it? Good. Let's take a note on the list. Buffalo, New York. Being labeled as one of the 10 American cities that are dead forever is a statement that can be misleading and overly pessimistic. While it's true that Buffalo, like many cities in the Rust Belt, has faced significant challenges, it's important to approach this topic with nuance and a recognition of both the struggles and the efforts for revival. Here are some of the challenges Buffalo has faced. Industrial decline. Buffalo was once a bustling industrial city, but the latter part of the 20th century saw a steep decline in this sector. The loss of manufacturing jobs hit the city hard, leading to economic downturns. Population Decline With the loss of industrial jobs, many residents moved away in search of employment opportunities elsewhere. This led to a significant decrease in population, impacting the city's economic and social fabric. Urban Decay the population decline left many areas of Buffalo with abandoned homes and buildings, leading to urban blight. This has been a challenge in terms of both aesthetics and public safety. Economic struggles, the decline in industry and population adversely affected the local economy. This resulted in higher rates of poverty and unemployment compared to national averages. Infrastructure challenges, the shrinking population and tax base made it difficult to maintain infrastructure, leading to issues in public transportation, public works, and other city services. Weather reputation Buffalo's harsh winters and heavy snowfalls have often been cited as a deterrent to potential residents and businesses. However, it's important to also recognize the efforts made by the city and its residents to address these challenges. Revitalization efforts. There have been significant investments in revitalizing downtown Buffalo and the waterfront area. Cultural and architectural heritage. Buffalo has a rich cultural and architectural history, which has been leveraged to boost tourism and local pride educational institutions, the presence of universities and colleges in and around Buffalo contributes to the city's intellectual and cultural life. Community resilience. The residents of Buffalo have shown resilience and a strong community spirit in facing these challenges. Number nine, Memphis, a city with a storied past and an integral role in the history of blues and rock and roll, faces a complex array of socio-economic challenges. The city's economic landscape has been marked by a transition away from its traditional industrial base, which has led to broader implications for the local job market and economy. This shift has contributed to persistently high levels of unemployment and poverty, posing significant hurdles for economic revitalization and growth. The population dynamics of Memphis have also played a critical role in shaping the city's current situation. Over the years, there has been a noticeable decrease in the city's population. This demographic shift has led to a reduction in the tax base, which in turn affects the funding and maintenance of essential city services and infrastructure. The resulting impact on public amenities and the urban environment further complicates efforts to attract new residents and businesses. Crime rates in Memphis have been a particular concern, with statistics often placing the city among those with the highest crime rates 
in the United States. This issue affects the quality of life and general safety of residents, and it poses a challenge in altering perceptions and realities of living in and visiting Memphis. The education system in Memphis has struggled as well, facing issues such as underfunding, underperformance, and low graduation rates. Educational challenges have broader implications for workforce development and long-term economic prospects as they impact the ability to nurture a skilled and educated populace. Despite these challenges, Memphis has assets and potential avenues for growth and improvement. The city's rich cultural heritage, particularly in music and the arts, continues to be a draw for tourists and a point of pride for residents. Efforts to revitalize downtown Memphis and other neighborhoods have shown promise, with investments in urban renewal and community development. Furthermore, the city's strategic location along the Mississippi River and its role as a transportation and logistics hub continue to be strengths. Memphis's story is one of resilience and complexity, embodying the broader narrative of many American cities confronting similar challenges. It's a city striving to balance, acknowledging and addressing its difficulties with leveraging its unique cultural and historical assets to forge a path toward a more prosperous and vibrant future. Number eight, Gary, Indiana's narrative is a poignant example of the rise and fall of an American industrial powerhouse. Established by the United States Steel Corporation in the early 20th century, Gary rapidly emerged as a thriving center of the steel industry, drawing workers from various parts of the country and the world. This influx led to a vibrant, bustling city, characterized by a robust economy and a strong sense of community centered around the steel mills. However, the latter half of the 20th century brought drastic changes. The decline of the American steel industry, precipitated by various factors, including global competition and technological advancements, hit Gary particularly hard. The city's economy, heavily reliant on steel, suffered tremendously as jobs dwindled and the industry shrank. This economic downturn led to widespread repercussions profoundly altering the fabric of the city. One of the most visible impacts of this decline was the population exodus. As residents left seeking employment and better living conditions elsewhere, Gary experienced a significant population drop, leading to numerous abandoned homes, buildings, and even entire neighborhoods. This depopulation not only changed the city's physical landscape, but also strained its financial resources. With a shrinking tax base, the city struggled to maintain infrastructure, public services, and educational institutions, further exacerbating the challenges faced by those who remained. Compounding these economic and social woes was a surge in crime rates, particularly violent crime, which has plagued Gary for decades. The high crime rate has contributed to negative perceptions of the city, deterring potential new residents and investors, and making revitalization efforts more challenging. Despite these considerable obstacles, Gary has not resigned itself to a fate of irreversible decline. The city has made concerted efforts to reinvent itself, capitalizing on its location near Chicago and along the shores of Lake Michigan. Urban renewal projects, attempts to attract new businesses, and initiatives to leverage its cultural and historical assets, including its rich musical heritage and architectural landmarks like the Genesis Convention Center and the Gary Aquatorium, are all part of the efforts to breathe new life into the city. Number 7. Pine Bluff, Arkansas presents a narrative of a city grappling with considerable socio-economic challenges, a situation not uncommon in many small to mid-sized American cities. Founded in the early 19th century along the Arkansas River, 
Pine Bluff was once a prosperous city, buoyed by its location as a regional commercial and agricultural hub. However, several factors over the latter part of the 20th century and into the 21st have led to a decline in its fortunes. During its heyday, Pine Bluff benefited from a vibrant economy, primarily driven by its agricultural sector, particularly in cotton and related industries. The city was also a significant center for education and culture, particularly for the African-American community in the South. However, the decline of these traditional economic pillars, coupled with broader changes in the national and global economy, began to erode Pine Bluff's economic base. One of the most significant challenges Pine Bluff has faced is the loss of jobs and industry. As employment opportunities dwindled, the city experienced a decline in population. This demographic shift resulted in numerous social and economic consequences, including a reduced tax base, which impacted the city's ability to fund public services and maintain infrastructure. Compounding these economic struggles, Pine Bluff has contended with high crime rates. The city has frequently ranked high in national crime statistics, particularly in violent crimes, which has affected the quality of life and contributed to a negative perception of the city, both within Arkansas and nationally. In addition, educational challenges have been a concern. While Pine Bluff is home to the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, the public school system in the city has faced issues related to funding, performance, and student outcomes. These educational challenges have long-term implications for workforce development and economic growth. Despite these struggles, it is important to note that Pine Bluff is not without efforts towards revitalization. The city has seen initiatives aimed at economic development, including attempts to attract new businesses and investments. There have been efforts to address crime and improve public safety, which are crucial for changing perceptions and improving the quality of life for residents. Number 6. Port Arthur, Texas, located along the Gulf Coast, is another city that has faced significant challenges. Historically, Port Arthur played a crucial role in the oil industry, particularly during the Texas oil boom in the early 20th century. This industry provided economic prosperity and growth for the city for many years. However, over time, Port Arthur has encountered various difficulties that have impacted its socio-economic landscape. One of the key challenges for Port Arthur has been economic fluctuations tied to the oil industry. The city's economy is heavily dependent on this sector and downturns in the oil market have led to job losses and economic instability. This dependency on a single industry has made the city vulnerable to market changes and global economic trends. The population of Port Arthur has been in decline for several decades. This demographic shift is partly due to economic hardships and the lack of diverse employment opportunities. The shrinking population has resulted in a diminished tax base, affecting the city's ability to fund and maintain public services and infrastructure. Environmental factors have also played a significant role in Port Arthur's struggles. The city is prone to hurricanes and flooding, which have caused considerable damage over the years. The environmental risks, coupled with economic challenges, have made recovery and revitalization efforts more complex. Port Arthur has also faced social challenges, including higher than average crime rates and educational struggles. These issues further complicate the city's efforts to attract new residents and businesses and improve the quality of life for its inhabitants. Despite these challenges, there have been efforts to diversify the economy and promote growth in Port Arthur. The city's location, with access to the Gulf of Mexico, positions it as a potential hub for shipping and trade. Additionally, there have been initiatives to capitalize on the city's cultural and historical assets, including its rich musical heritage. Port Arthur is the hometown of the legendary singer Janis Joplin and its unique position in Texas history. In summary, 
Port Arthur's story is one of navigating the complexities of an economy tied to a single industry, dealing with environmental vulnerabilities, and working towards a future that balances its historical identity with new opportunities for growth and development. Number 5. Camden New Jersey, situated across the Delaware River from Philadelphia, has a history that mirrors the industrial rise and decline experienced by many cities in the northeastern United States. Founded in the 19th century, Camden thrived during the industrial boom, with significant shipbuilding and manufacturing sectors. However, the latter part of the 20th century brought a series of economic and social challenges that profoundly impacted the city. The decline of manufacturing and industry in the region was a major blow to Camden's economy. As factories closed and jobs were lost, the city faced increasing economic hardships. This deindustrialization not only led to high unemployment rates, but also contributed to a broader decline in the city's economic base. As economic opportunities dwindled, Camden experienced a significant population decline. This reduction in population exacerbated the city's financial difficulties, leading to strained public services, underfunded schools, and deteriorating infrastructure. The resulting urban decay is marked by vacant buildings and homes, which further contribute to the city's challenges. One of the most pressing issues in Camden has been high crime rates, including violent crime. These safety concerns have affected the quality of life for residents and have been a major hurdle in efforts to revitalize the city. In addition to these challenges, Camden's public school system has faced significant struggles. Issues of underperformance and underfunding in education have long-term implications for the city's youth and their future prospects. Despite these considerable obstacles, Camden has been the focus of numerous revitalization efforts. Initiatives have included attempts to attract new businesses, improve public safety, and invest in education and community development. The city's proximity to Philadelphia and its location along the Delaware River provide potential opportunities for economic growth and development. In recent years, there have been signs of progress in Camden. Efforts to improve policing and community relations have shown promising results in reducing crime rates. Additionally, investments in the waterfront area and partnerships with local institutions have been part of a broader strategy to stimulate economic and community development. Camden's story is one of resilience in the face of daunting challenges. Number 4. Jackson, Mississippi, the capital city of the state, has faced a constellation of challenges typical of many urban centers in the United States, particularly in the South. Founded in the early 19th century and named after President Andrew Jackson, the city has a rich history intertwined with the broader narratives of the American South, including the Civil Rights Movement. However, in recent decades, Jackson has encountered various socio-economic difficulties. One of the central challenges for Jackson has been its struggling economy. The city has grappled with a high poverty rate and unemployment, issues that are compounded by a limited industrial and commercial base. This economic situation has been further strained by a declining tax base as residents and businesses have moved to surrounding suburbs. The out-migration from Jackson has led to a decrease in the city's population, which in turn has had cascading effects on its infrastructure and public services. This demographic shift has resulted in challenges in maintaining and upgrading essential services, including water and sewer systems, which are critical for residents' quality of life and the city's overall functionality. Another significant issue facing Jackson is the state of its educational system. Public schools in the city have struggled with underfunding, underperformance, and low graduation rates, creating a cycle that is hard to break and impacting the future prospects of the city's youth. Crime has also been a concern in Jackson, with the city experiencing a high crime rate, especially in terms of violent crimes. 
This has not only affected the perception of the city, but also the reality of safety and quality of life for its residents. Despite these challenges, Jackson has strengths and potential avenues for improvement. The city is rich in cultural and historical significance, with notable museums, historic sites, and a vibrant music scene, particularly in blues and gospel music. These cultural assets are not only important for local identity, but also offer opportunities for tourism and economic development. Efforts towards urban renewal and revitalization have been ongoing in Jackson. Initiatives to attract new businesses, invest in infrastructure, and enhance public safety are part of a broader strategy to address the city's challenges. Number 3. Flint, Michigan has become emblematic of the challenges facing post-industrial American cities, particularly those in the Rust Belt. Once a thriving hub of the automotive industry, Flint's fortunes have been closely tied to the rise and fall of this sector. In the early and mid-20th century, Flint was a booming city, driven by the success of major auto manufacturers, especially General Motors. The city was a beacon of industrial prosperity, offering plentiful jobs and fostering a strong middle class. However, the latter part of the 20th century brought drastic changes. The decline of the American auto industry had a profound impact on Flint. As factories closed or downsized, thousands of jobs were lost, leading to economic hardship for many residents. The loss of these jobs set off a chain reaction of challenges. As residents moved away in search of employment, Flint's population declined sharply, leading to a reduced tax base. This decline strained the city's finances, making it increasingly difficult to maintain public services and infrastructure. The economic downturn also led to widespread poverty and exacerbated social issues. One of Flint's most notorious challenges in recent years has been its water crisis. In 2014, in an effort to reduce costs, the city switched its water source, leading to a public health emergency due to lead contamination. This crisis not only endangered the health of residents, but also brought national attention to the city's struggles, highlighting the consequences of economic decline and governance issues. Crime has been another persistent issue in Flint, with the city often ranking high in national crime statistics. This, coupled with the economic and public health challenges, has impacted the quality of life and contributed to the city's struggles in attracting new residents and businesses. Despite these daunting challenges, there are efforts underway to revitalize Flint. Community groups, local leaders, and external organizations have been working together to address the city's problems. Initiatives have focused on economic development, improving public health and safety, and restoring trust in local governance. Number 2. East St. Louis, Illinois, often cited in discussions about urban decline in the United States, presents a stark example of the challenges facing post-industrial cities. Located across the Mississippi River from St. Louis, Missouri, East St. Louis was once a bustling industrial center, thriving on manufacturing and transportation industries. However, several factors over the past few decades have led to its dramatic decline. The city's prosperity in the early 20th century was largely driven by its steel plants, aluminium production, and its strategic location as a transportation hub, particularly for railroads and river traffic. However, the latter half of the 20th century saw a steep decline in these industries, leading to significant job losses and economic downturns. The decline of the manufacturing sector, a common theme in the Rust Belt, hit East St. Louis particularly hard. As jobs disappeared, the city faced a severe population decline. Many residents moved away in search of better opportunities, which led to a shrinking tax base. This reduction in population and economic activity had severe repercussions on the city's infrastructure 
and public services. East St. Louis struggled to maintain basic services, leading to issues in public safety, education, and general urban decay. One of the most pressing issues for East St. Louis has been high crime rates, including violent crimes. This has been a major barrier to attracting new residents and businesses, perpetuating the cycle of decline. The city has also faced challenges in education, with public schools struggling to provide quality education amid funding shortages and socio-economic challenges. Despite these difficulties, there have been efforts to revitalize East St. Louis. Community leaders, local government, and external organizations have been involved in initiatives aimed at economic development, improving public safety, and community building. The city's geographic proximity to St. Louis, Missouri, offers potential opportunities for regional collaboration and development. East St. Louis's situation is a reflection of the broader challenges faced by many cities that experienced early industrial success but later struggled to adapt to the changing economic landscape. The city's story is not just about decline. It also highlights the resilience of its residents and the ongoing efforts to address deep-rooted challenges and work towards a more stable and prosperous future. Number 1. Detroit, Michigan, often referred to as the Motor City, has a rich and multifaceted history marked by both remarkable achievements and profound challenges. This city, once the thriving epicenter of the American automotive industry, has become a symbol of urban struggle and resilience. Detroit's ascent began in the early 20th century Driven by its booming auto industry, this period saw the birth of the assembly line, pioneered by Henry Ford, which revolutionized manufacturing. The city became synonymous with American ingenuity and economic prosperity, drawing workers from across the country and around the world. The population swelled, and Detroit became the fourth largest city in the U.S. by the 1950s. This growth was accompanied by a rich cultural scene, including the rise of Motown music, which played a significant role in the soundtrack of America. However, the latter half of the 20th century marked the beginning of Detroit's decline. The auto industry faced increasing competition from foreign manufacturers and internal challenges, leading to a decline in jobs. This loss was compounded by a series of racial tensions and riots in the 1960s, which led to a mass exodus of the population to the suburbs. The city's demographics and economy underwent dramatic changes, leading to a cycle of poverty and decline. By the 1980s and 1990s, Detroit was grappling with numerous issues, a shrinking population, economic stagnation, high unemployment, and a crumbling infrastructure. The city's landscape became dotted with vacant lots and abandoned buildings, symbols of its lost prosperity. Detroit's problems culminated in 2013 when it declared bankruptcy, facing billions of dollars in debt. Despite these challenges, the 21st century has brought signs of rejuvenation to Detroit. Efforts to revitalize the city have been multifaceted,